Hello, welcome to Rumours TV. My name is Luke and this is Food and Wine. In this episode of Food and Wine, we're going to cook lamb shanks with the St. Bont Rouge. And so to get started, I'm going to turn the oven on to 175 degrees, just to let that warm up before we add things. I'm going to get out my big pot. This is a good slow cooking pot. You can use pan like that, the deep pan, and then, then move the uh, dish into a casserole dish to cook in the oven. But that means you're going to use two dishes. So, and you're going to clean them up later. So, I'll use one of these. So apart from the lamb shanks, you'll need carrots, potatoes, onions, mushroom, garlic, you'll need some vegetable stock, which is just powder and hot water. You'll also need a decent bottle of Cabernet. Now I'm using this Saint Rouge. I'd also recommend you could use a Bordeaux or even a New Zealand Cabernet blend. You'll find most wines with Cabernet Sauvignon are blended. This is because Cabernet, well, has really nice dry tannin, which is the dryness around the gums on your mouth, and great length of palate. It needs other grapes to soften that tannin in the young uh, wines and also um, fill out some mid palate weight. Put some oil in and now I'm going to braise the lamb which basically means searing the sides of it to lock in the juices. Uh, and I'm going to add some mushroom and garlic at this stage to let the whole thing start cooking. So anyway, in here the Cabernet Sauvignon is like the lamb. You're got Merlot and Malbec or Cabernet Franc, you're adding that to Cabernet Sauvignon. Here we're adding onions and garlic and mushroom just to complement the backbone structure of the lamb and give it some extra oomph when it goes into the oven. What I've got is St. Mont, this uh, from the south of France. And they've got local varieties, Tanat, Banat, along with the Cabernet in this blend. The essential part of that blend though is the Cabernet. This has nice leafy characters and tomato bush and mint characters as well. That goes really well with lamb. It also, Cabernet has dry tannin, which when you're eating, it gives you that kind of saviness to make you want to have something to eat. Um, in this case, you've got nice juicy lamb to go with it. So I've just added the stock and because I'm lazy I'm going to add the potatoes and carrots now. And of course we need to add some red wine to this. Now cooking with wine is a contentious point. A lot of people will tell you, well a lot of chefs will tell you, that once the wine is cooked you can't tell the difference between using a four pound bottle of wine and a 200 pound bottle of wine. Well, fact is I've cooked with a 200 pound bottle of wine and I've cooked with 4 pound bottles of wine and I can tell you that the same recipe for both products that the 200 pound bottle was a lot better the reason for that is you're using a better base ingredient now I don't recommend that you go out and use 200 pound bottles of wine it was fairly excessive at the time but the better quality you use the better result you'll get especially in a dish like this which is slow cooked is really useful you will get more of those flavours from the wine coming through into the meat and those flavours that are in this wine are going to be far more noticeable when you're drinking it along with the food so anyway back to the food we'll add some salt add some pepper pepper I'll mix that up a little bit looking good. Add the lid. Hard part is done. Just a top one. Just put it straight into the oven. And it will sit in there for say 40 minutes to an hour depending on how you like to eat it and how good your oven is. But that's it. Time to take a break. Okay, first thing to do is to turn this back off. 
across the side. I'll get out a pop from here. And take the big slow cook pot out. in there a couple of plates. Rather them in here they'll warm up a little bit and um, when we do, do service we'll keep the food nice and warm. So it can stay there. Now lid off. Try not to burn yourself but that looks really good. Use a ladle to put the potatoes in the saucepan. So we add some milk, start mashing it up, looks good. Get the plates back out, put the mash on, ladle onto the shank, the carrot, the onion, the mushroom, there's your glass of wine, hey presto. Now remember in there we've got all that leftover lamb juice, that goes into a Tupperware container that you put aside to cool down and then when it's cool put it into the fridge the next day we'll scoop off the fat under that you've got lamb shank red wine stock absolutely outstanding and great to use in other meals in the future and then that's it enjoy